Welcome back. How much house can you get for $750,000? Well, obviously, that depends on where you live. Tonight, News Channel 8's Rod Carter is taking a look at housing prices in different cities and right here in the Bay Area. Good afternoon. Home sales are down compared to the same time period last year, and the median price for a home across the country is about $268,000. But how much house you can get for your money really depends on where you buy. For example, the state, the city, even the zip code you choose to live in. In South Tampa, the picturesque neighborhoods with beautiful tree-lined streets are appealing. But what will your money get you here compared to other areas across the country? So the house has been on the market a little over a month. We visited a home on Santiago Street just off Dale Mabry. It lists for $785,000. Others at our sister stations checked out similarly priced properties in Salt Lake City, Sacramento, and Sioux Falls. The Salt Lake home is five bedrooms, three baths, and has two fireplaces. In Sacramento, this home has three bedrooms, two baths, and is 1,900 square feet. And in Sioux Falls, the home is 5,700 square feet. And it has four bedrooms and three baths. They call this their coffee room where they come and enjoy their morning coffee. Back here in South Tampa, this house is four bedrooms and has three and a half baths. It's a completely upgraded 1944 home and is 3,700 square feet. It's actually one of the larger lots for this area. Sitting on a lot twice that size. South Tampa, you're looking at like $250 a square foot. So you're not going to really find anything that's you know, 2,000 square feet under like a half a million. Again, this is not a scientific comparison, but keep in mind, no matter how much you want or have to spend, where you buy is going to make all the difference in how much bang you can get for your buck. In Tampa, Rod Carter, News Channel 8.